Hey there, we're Duap, an AP automation solution for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance, or AX2012. Thanks for joining us. Today, we'll be going over the overall Duap process, walking through your future AP mobile and web capabilities in a quick demo, and briefly showing you Duap's analytics dashboard. Let's get started with the overall process. It's very important to get invoices digitized as early as possible in order to save time and money. Regardless of whether you're using paper, PDF, email, XML, or EDI invoices, we can automate the process. DoApps machine learning will be applied to these invoices, so your team will only have to work with exceptions and not all of the AP workload. For the capture process, if you're receiving paper or emailed invoices, you can use OCR, optical character recognition, which can be done by us or any other solution you already have. Or you can use DoApps Capture as a service that we offer. We can do that whole process for you as well. You can also use e-invoices. How does the capture work for paper and PDF invoices? Well, the capture usually works in the background with DoApp. We want the software to learn as much as possible from the actual invoices. Typically, there would be one AP person on your end who would have to check for exceptions from time to time. That AP person's corrections in the screen automatically teaches DoApp to handle those types of invoices in the future. The visual part of the process occurs within the DoApp web app. Since your invoices have been captured, you're basically only filling out information that may be missing, and you're processing those with the workflows and three-way matching. There is also the mobile app, where approvers can approve the invoices on the go. The approved invoices are then moved to Dynamics, where they are posted automatically. Let's dig into the desktop and mobile process where most of the magic happens. Within the web app, which will be demoed in a bit, you'll find the workflows which can connect with the Dynamics position hierarchy or the dimension owner information that's already inside Dynamics. This is where the non-PO coding will happen as automatically as possible through machine learning. The non-PO coding is connected to the account structures within Dynamics to ensure there's no incorrect coding. For PO matching, it's very important to be in sync with Dynamics. The product receipts, POs, and additional information from Dynamics becomes visible to DoApp in order to prevent matching the same invoices multiple times to the same POs. DoApp is constantly checking the policy through two- and three-way matching and applying those policies to the invoice matching world. The whole integration with Dynamics is included with DoApp. We're continuously maintaining that integration every time there is a Dynamics update from Microsoft, regardless of how often the updates come. You'll always have a compatible package delivered from us. Additionally, DoApp releases new features every two months, which you can opt out of if you don't want to update your Dynamics site every time, because we do support previous versions. Let's take a look at the mobile app. The mobile app is especially useful for approvers on the go. Here you can view the invoices that you have for approval. You can receive a notification or email to let you know that there is an invoice pending approval. The invoices are shown as a stack of cards, which you can swipe through. You can click on the stack of cards to view the invoice details the image of the invoice, and any attachments related to that invoice are available. The workflow, you'll see who previously had it and where it goes next. Comments and the coding are there. The coding is the same as the account structure in Dynamics, so you aren't able to enter incorrect amounts and combinations. You can leave a comment, or you can send the invoice back for re-examination. And when it all looks good and the invoice is approved, just swipe right. For the analytics portion, DoApp provides Power BI dashboards. DoApp Analytics is an extensive package of pre-designed dashboards. There is something for every role. We've designed specific role-based dashboards, for example, CFO for vendor analytics and for purchasing. With those dashboards, we provide detailed KPIs that are drillable in multiple ways right down to the detail. Everything can be exported. For AP, there are tools for daily work. For example, there's a fast close report, which is used for accruals, so you are able to view all the unapproved invoices quickly and easily. You can view all the coding in unapproved invoices, 
so you can input that into an accrual journal within Dynamics. For IT, we offer reports regarding user and approver rights. This is a very useful dashboard for audits. Let's jump into Duab's web app. First, we'll go live into Dynamics. Here's the Dynamics main view. Note that we can go right into Duap Live inside Dynamics. We have a lot of tiles shown here, but for a normal user, it would be a web app and Power BI. For the admin user, you will see the setup in the background, but let's dive into the web page. Clicking Duap Web App, our Azure user ID is authenticated based on what's set up in Dynamics. Once the web app has opened, you're brought to a view of the invoices that need to be handled. Here, we're playing the role of an AP user, which is why you see a lot of invoices in the work queue. Here we have a workflow where you can view previous invoices. We have one active invoice, which the software is suggesting should be handled first. And then we have the next invoices here. We can already spot that there are a few duplicate invoices here. We can also see that we have some coworkers who are working on these invoices as well. For example, let's start with this active invoice. When we select this invoice, it immediately changes the previous invoice section to show previous invoices from this vendor. There may be relevant information on the previous invoices that can be used when handling this specific invoice. We can also see the invoice picture and the workflow of this invoice. For the invoice picture, we have a lot of different capabilities. The user can flip to another screen so they can work side by side. For the invoice in question, it's a PO invoice and matching is requiring some actions to take place. It's showing us a difference of $95, which is the miscellaneous charge there. After the capture process has happened and we have the invoice here, we have the information captured from the invoice image. And we have a lot of Dynamics fields here. Now, the AP user must look for the exceptions in the invoices. For example, in this case, we would need to add the miscellaneous charge code for this invoice. Watch how easy it is to add that miscellaneous charge here. From your Dynamics solution, we already know what kind of miscellaneous charge codes are available, and we do an auto allocation. For example, we could read from their code directly from the invoice image. We would still need to connect that with your miscellaneous charge code, but applying that is fast. Only two fields are filled, and we do the allocation based on the default setup, which in this case would be net amount. You can, of course, change that if you want the miscellaneous charge to be allocated with different logic. You can also have it pointing to just one single line. The invoice is now matching. We have a workflow. Everything looks good. If that's everything needed, we will click on Accept. Now, it will send that invoice through the workflow and check against your three-way matching rules. Here we are on the next invoice. In this case, everything is matching. This is an example of an invoice that has no errors or doesn't need adjustment. We can look over it if we want to. We have the ability to see what kind of POs and product receipts there are available based on the product receipt post dates. And we can change or add several POs to the same invoice. Duap immediately gets us those lines that are available for matching. The miscellaneous charge code which we had here was automatically applied because it knew that from the example already from the PO in Dynamics. In this case, the workflow is good to go. Duap is set up to use the workflow participants from that PO in Dynamics. So we have the orderer and the requester field from Dynamics, and those are the ones we will want to use for this example. Again, we approve this invoice. Moving forward, it doesn't have to go through those approvers because it was a full three-way match. Let's grab another invoice from the queue and jump ahead a bit because we want a non-PO invoice. A non-PO invoice is always able to grab the coding from your Dynamics by default. If there are vendor accounts or vendor codes set up, those are the ones we can use on this invoice. But 
we can also use machine learning. Simply by clicking what the machine learning suggestion is, we can replace whatever there is in the defaults. The machine learning will consistently suggest typical coding for your documents. It can also be multi-line coding. In our example, they are a bit narrow, but if the machine learning suggestion is above a certain percentage, DoApp is able to apply coding automatically on an invoice. The same capability also exists for workflows. A workflow can be defaulted using your own selected logic, such as position hierarchy, or, for this example, based on the dimension that we used in the coding from Dynamics. But you can also have presets or fixed lists, and you can also have, for AP, the ability to make changes. If you need to do ad hoc changes for something, for one time only, you can opt in or give the user the right to make changes. This is some great flexibility within security, of course. Every change that is done to an invoice is always recorded here in our auditory log. Every different selection or change of any kind is automatically saved to this audit log. Additionally, we have Power BI reports for invoice changes. When everything has been done and approved with those invoices, Invoices are automatically sent to Dynamics. The invoices will appear here just as regular invoices, but with the invoice link to the original item. For example, if we navigate to Vendor Transactions, click here, now look for one of the demo invoices that we sent from DoApp. Let's use this as an example. The DoApp invoice image link is there, so we're always able to open that original item, view the workflow, how it was coded, how it was matched, and the audit trail log. Very important for when digging into history items. That completes our quick demo. We hope to see you soon for a detailed demo which can go into a deeper dive into real-use AP volume issues that you need addressed with Dynamics. We would be delighted to meet with you and give you an idea of the tremendous productivity savings DoApp delivers.